this is our video on the Premier Verifier G3 and we got it hooked over there with the uh, external coil mode and we got it on 38 kilohertz this is our spectrum our cable We don't want to bore you too long, so we will resume when we get out near the road. We do know where this cable is because <clears throat> we were here when they installed it. So, but this is for test purposes. Okay, so now we're out near the road, which is about 120 feet. And then, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, they came across the driveway here. And over the road there, so. I think they took a corner here. Yeah. tapped in. She's working good. Okay, so we're on the same cable TV uh, and we're in the remote indirect induction mode. So from our last find, we knew our thing was right here. So here we go. So we're in our indirect induction mode and see our transmitter uh, 130 foot away maybe. And down there is the box that it goes to. See that our unit is still doing very well. Alright, at the end of the next mode. All right, so uh, we're in the indirect induction mode and we're gonna go for a depth. So we're going over the strongest signal. Five inches in the ground. Back to our, all right. Okay, so we switched over to <coughs> POW power mode I'm assuming from watching a video a little while back so we know our power comes off that telephone pole and goes up to the obviously the edge of the house where the meter is 
And we did get a stake out here a couple times, so we know this is the general area. So, so we're gonna follow our power. We're starting to lose. We came over into here. Here, so if you might get a little confused. Yep, there it is. Power mode. No. All right, onward with our test. We are in direct connection mode to our well. And obviously, the power is off. And. Um, Kind of works out because we got to find this line to tap into it. We don't use our well for public water, but we want to use our well over the garage. So, come around the camp of hill. So, we got our signal. I'm going to boost it a little. Okay, so there's our line there. spray this after we and our well is supplied by the house over here okay so we're getting a little weak we're gonna hit the boost connection and switch are right inside the wall there. Alright, another short video on making sure our buttons are all responding. Should peak no frequency we're on 38 down there. Let's see we want to be there. Okay. 95850512120 power R A D E and back to what were we 38? Yeah. 38. And then the mode button. Light. Okay, and then our log. So that basically when we're on our thing, let's push our game down. that and we'll come down here. <clears throat> Show you that these buttons are all responding well. Alright. So we have uh it's our mode button on here. It responds and our adjust. You can hear that responding. Frequency. And then our And down buttons. Everything seems marvelous. Alright, so we just want to make note that the battery boxes are all in good shape. That no seepage ever occurred. And that battery box is in great shape. Okay, Do our other battery. 
battery box here. Okay, again, nice and clean. Doesn't look like the batteries have ever seeped out and caused any corrosion issues.